together. That is why together. We must fight to make sure that we pass a Medicare for all health care system. Now, I do not understand why if Canada could do it, the UK could do it, France could do it, all of these other countries could do it, we can do it. And I want to give you another example of where, as a nation, we have got to think outside of the box. For a hundred plus years, we have had free public education in this country from first grade to twelfth grade. The world has changed. The economy has changed. People today need more education. The simple truth is that today, in many respects, a college degree is the equivalent of what a high school degree was 50 years ago. And that is why I believe we have got to make public colleges and universities tuition free. This is not a radical idea. It exists in Germany, Scandinavia, other countries. If they can do it, we can do it. And the other related issue we have got to deal with is the outrageous level of student debt in this country. When you think about crazy, listen to this. We tell young people, you got to go out and get the best education you can for yourselves, for the country. And yet millions of our people are $30,000, $50,000 in debt because they got an education. That's crazy. Now, I find it interesting that when Wall Street, with their greed and illegal behavior, crashed, Congress bailed them out. Now, I believe we should impose a tax on Wall Street speculation. And use that revenue to make public colleges and universities tuition free. Everybody here understands one important historical fact, and that is change, real change never takes place from the top on down. It always, it always takes place from the grassroots on up. Workers, a hundred plus years ago, said they would not be treated like animals, and they struggled and went to jail and were beaten up in order to form unions and get collective bargaining. That's how we fight for workers' rights.
For hundreds of years, African Americans and their white allies struggled together to end racism and bigotry and segregation in America. Those changes did not take place from the top on down. It was blacks and whites standing together and saying, we will not accept racism in the United States of America. People forget, people forget, but a hundred, but a hundred years ago, women in America did not have the right to vote, could not get the education they wanted, could not do the jobs they wanted. But what happened is that people looked around and they said, hey, in America, we will not accept women being treated as second-class citizens. It's going to change. If we were here seven years ago, 10 years ago, and somebody said, you know what? I think gay marriage will be legal in every state in this country by 2015. <laughs> Nobody would have believed it, but it happened and it happened because the gay community and their straight allies said that in America, people have the right to love whoever they want. If we were in this room five years ago, five years ago, and somebody jumped up and said, you know, Bernie, I think this $7.25 minimum wage is a starvation wage. We got to raise it to 15 bucks an hour. The person next to him would have said, you're nuts. You're wanting to double the minimum wage? That's crazy. Can't happen. Well, you know what happened? Fast food workers at McDonald's and Burger King went out on strike. They stood up and fought back, and then you know what happened? Seattle, 15 bucks an hour. San Francisco, Los Angeles, 15 bucks an hour. Oregon, 15 bucks an hour. And that $15 an hour movement is sweeping the country. But here is my point, the most important point. Do not settle for the status quo when the status quo is broken. Don't tell me that we cannot have a political system in which we have one of the highest voter turnout rates in the world rather than one of the lowest. Don't tell me that we have to have the highest rate of childhood poverty in the industrialized world when we have a proliferation of millionaires and billionaires. We can change that. Don't tell me that veterans in this country have to sleep out on the street. We can change that. Don't tell me, don't tell me that in America we're the only, we have to be the only major country 
that does not guarantee health care or paid family leave to all of our people. We can make real change. But we don't make change if they divide us up. What Trump is about and other demagogues have always been about is scapegoating minorities, turning one group against another group. But we are too smart to fall for that. So if we stand together as black and white and Latino and Asian American and Native American, if we stand together as gay and straight men and women, if we stand together as people born in America, people who have come to this country, if we, if we stand together, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. Next, next week, Arizona has a very important election. We will win. We will win if the voter turnout is high. Let's make it high. Thank you all very much.